In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of using the plot TD native to dimensional plots in SMAS Studio. For that, we're going to this um, SMAS Studio file, and we're going to plot this function. What we do is select a point in the in the screen, and then go for insert plot. And this is the native two-dimensional plot in SMAS Studio. In the placeholder here, you type f of x. And then SMAS Studio will tend to produce a uh, basic graphic where the x-axis goes from about minus 10 to 10, and from about minus 5 to, well, actually, well, like from minus 8 to 8. and you can you can do some manipulation of this graph, but it's not very um, simple to do. Let's look at what you can do in the plot menu right here. You could uh, rotate the graph. That's when we're dealing with three-dimensional graph. You can scale it. You can move it. Produce plots as uh, dots or straight lines, and then refresh your graphic. One of the things you could do is move the origin of coordinates by clicking on the graph and holding down the left mouse key you can move the center of the graph anywhere you want. Let's leave it in the middle to, for the time being and we're going to show you how to modify the X and Y axis. To modify the X and Y axis click on the graph and you can go and click in, uh, in the scale um, icon and then when you hold down the shift key, click on the graph and move the, the mouse wheel upwards, you can see that the scale is reduced from, uh, for example, up to minus 2 to 2 in this case. If you move that wheel backwards, the scale gets increased around the center. Let's leave it like from minus 4 to 4. If you want to modify the vertical scale, hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel. Upwards reduces your scale, downwards increases the scale, and you can manipulate the graph that way. If you now click on the graph, I um, actually drag the graph a little bit and so I modify my X axis. So I'm going to click again, hold the shift key, and move forward the wheel. And and then I'm going to go to the plot menu and click on the on the graph by points. And what you basically do, you are showing the graph as point. It's kind of hard to see the difference here, but we could do the follow. We can click on the graph and actually drag this. And what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key. And you can see some of the plots in there. Anyway, this is the na native two-dimensional graph. I'm going to show you how to do XY plot in, in future videos. So this is just a demonstration of what you can do with the native plot. If you had two plots, like in this case, what I'm going to do is going to select this and do Control-C to copy. And I'm going to click down here and Control-V. And where I have f of x, I'm going to select that f of x and go to the system of values or equations I can click on it and type below G of X and I'm going to click on there hold down the control key and amplify my vertical axis now you can see the points in there if I hold down the shift key and move it forward I'm going to change my um, my range of x values this way. And that's about what you can do with that. I have another example here where I'm defining different values for f, f of x. And then I'm, I'm using this typing sequence to produce these vector values of x, x. I'm going to repeat it right here. I go x, x, colon, range parenthesis minus 2 times P, control G, comma, 2 times P, 
control G, space bar, space bar should do here, comma, and then I go minus 2 times P, control G, plus pi, I'm sorry, P, control G, over 10. So actually I got an extra I in here, and I should do a couple of space bars here. to produce this range. If I make an equal sign right here to the right, then you get this um, very large vector of values. I'm going to select this, do a delete, click to the right here, delete, and actually delete this thing since I have it already programmed in here. Now, to produce a uh, vector of values of f, they're going to call ff, I'm going to say ff colon f of xx, select the right-hand side, you can do it this way, or you can do it this way, and then click on this icon, that's the vectorized function icon, and that's going to produce a vector of values of f, and then I'm going to do the same, gg, g of xx, select like that, by pressing the space bar, and do a vectorize. So again now, vectors of values of x, F and G. I'm going to create matrices by using the the um, command augment, where I put X X as the first element and F F as the second element, and then I'm going to do augment. I'm um, oh, sorry. Click in here, augment X X G G, and I got these two matrices. Now I'm going to insert a graph here. Go and insert plot 2D. And I'm going to use my system and type MXF and MXG. And then I get these uh, results. I'm going to click on here, hold down the shift key, move forward my wheel. And then I'll hold down the control key, move that vertical, and, and then you get the two graphs. But, um, there is no clear way to define what which color represents which one. So I'm going to do x, y plot later on for you. I just wanted to show you these two examples. For the plot to the uh, case, and then we're going to continue with plot x, y in the following video.